We saw uh, quite a few close-ups of your thumb as the game progressed from the, the broadcast, and um, it, it looked like it was swelling somewhat painfully. H how did it feel out there for you, and what was it like for you guys collectively to sort of gut through this one? Yeah, I, I guess I'll get this out of the way first. My my thumb is fine, it, it, it was, and I'm not going to use it as an excuse for anything that went didn't go my way today on any throw or anything. My thumb is fine. It's coming along. It's 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 not a hundred percent because it had surgery ten days ago or twelve days ago, whatever. But it's it's in a good place, and um, I'm very capable with what I got going on right now. But yeah, from from that, yeah, I, I, I'm very proud of our team. It's it's an exciting game. It's an exciting day. Um, anytime you get a playoff win, anytime you get to come to Seattle and, and beat these guys in the playoffs. I mean, I think about two weeks ago, um, I'm sitting right here in this chair, knowing I have a broken thumb, lying to you guys, and. Uh, yeah, it, it, coming back here and winning this game um, in, in a big way is is meaningful. And, you know, we saw everything. We saw, you know, the way that they celebrated. We saw what they did. And, uh, you know, like Aaron said, we wanted this one. Yeah, and I hear you. And I don't – don't get me wrong. I wasn't making any excuses for you by saying – No, I know. I just wanted to get that out of the way first because it's uh, it's important to me that that's not made, um, made a crutch. I gotcha. Um, and then what's the management going to be like um, in terms of maybe reducing swelling or pain tolerance, anything like that? There's no pain, to be honest. There is no pain. Um, it's it's uh, it's just it's not. I mean, it, it's got screws in it and it's, you know, a, bit, a little bit swollen. But um, the, the pain is not is not the issue. Lindsay? Jared, what was it like for you this week when um, Sean made the decision that John was going to start? Yeah, it was tough. Um, as a competitor, I, of course, I wanted to be out there and wanted to play and, and felt felt like I could and felt like I could uh, make a difference. Um, so, yeah, it was tough. I, it, it, it was, you know, some long conversations we had, but um, ultimately I, I respect his decision. He's the coach. He had to make a decision that he needed to make early in the week um, to get out in front of some stuff. And um, I get it. But as, as a competitor, of course, I wanted to play and, and, and was, uh, was ready to play. And then what was it like to see, um, obviously, John get hurt and then have to step in there quite quickly? Yeah, I, it's it's never, you know, what you hope for. I mean, John's a good friend of mine at this point, and um, I thought he was doing some good things out there and um, took took a shot there and, and had to come out. But like I said, I was I was ready to go, and um, I think my whole mindset uh, through the week was to stay ready. Um, you never know what can happen, and um, I've played in – I've played in big games before. I've played in um, playoff games before and um, have that experience. So I try to draw on some of that with with the lack of reps and, and just trust myself. Evan? Seeing Aaron go out uh, in the second half, uh, Cooper limp off, uh, I guess, late in the game. You guys had to overcome a lot today. How satisfying was that? Extremely satisfying, yeah. I think, you know, guys like him, Witt, Coop, um, you know, like you mentioned, Aaron, fighting through some stuff. And, and you know, I... I, I I, like I said, I was ready to go and and fighting through you know some things in my own way, but um, yeah, it was very satisfying. I think it, again, I'll talk about two weeks ago being up here losing this game in a bad way, um, them clinching the division against us, and, and and having that you know sour taste in your mouth, you know the next day I have surgery and um, I'm sitting here 12 days later uh, winning a playoff game against the same team, and it, it feels good. Gary, Gary, I know we've asked you this a couple times during the regular season, but. Uh... In the playoffs, especially, what's it like to have a defense that is capable of regularly putting points on the board? Yeah, it's it's amazing. It's, it really is. Um, you know, I've I've never played with a defense of this caliber, and it's it's exciting. It makes, you know, what we do on offense. Uh, you know, it. it I don't want to say easier, but, you know, it gives us a lot more opportunities, I believe. Um, and, and when they're able to, you know, Darius is able to take a pick six, it's, it's just put, I mean, it's amazing. What they've been doing this year is, is amazing. And we've been able to rely on them in some spots. And, um, you know, I'm sure at some point they'll have to rely on us. And uh, But we're playing some good ball right now on defense. It's it's really exciting to see. Bill? Yeah, Jared, were you angry at being benched? And did you feel like you had something to improve when you came into the game? Yeah, Bill, um, you know, of course, as a competitor, you, you just want to play. I, I, I think, you know, Sean was very clear with with me that it was not that. It was, you know, we had to do some things early in the week to be ready to play this game. And um, I, I, I understood it. But as a competitor, yeah, I mean, all week I was I was I was not thrilled with it. But I, I, I knew why I get it. And, um, you know to be honest on the field, like, you know, I can say whatever I want about how my thumb feels. It doesn't hurt, but you know, there, there, there were some, you know, limitations to an extent, um, 
being so fresh out of surgery. Do I think that'll be the case next week? I don't think so. I think it'll continue to progress and get to a good place um, where I feel even better. And, it, and it's only going to feel better as time goes on. But um, I, again, I, I, I get it. I don't, I don't, you know, I, I, I wouldn't say, you know, I, I want it, I want it, or, you know, I agree with it, but I get it. And um, I'm happy to be back. Are you the starting quarterback next week? We'll see. You know, we may play this game of cat and mouse with you guys for another week. We'll see. Maria? Hey, Jared, from a mental standpoint, you were talking about the fact that, you know, you had to kind of prepare that you weren't going to start, but then you quickly get thrown into the game. How long did it kind of, from the mental perspective, take you to kind of settle in today? Yeah, a handful of snaps. I think, you know, like I said, I've I've played in games like this before in, in this stadium and against this team. And it, so I drew, drew on some of that as far as, you know, just having that experience. But but yeah, I mean, lack of, you know, however many weeks of reps I've had is 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 definitely something you have to kind of work through in those first few snaps. But I would say, um, you know, I don't know, one or two drives and I was right back in it like like I am and, and I felt good. How great was that having Andrew Wentworth back out there with you? Tremendous, tremendous. He's a he's a he's a great player, a great dude, and and uh, and an incredible leader. And I thought today his leadership showed, and um, obviously his play on the field was was beneficial for us. We'll wrap up with Michael, Nick, and then Claudia, please. Jared, two quick questions. First one, uh, talking about the thumb and how it's going to get better. What did Doctor Shin and the experts tell you as far as what you were limited to will happen now after getting another week? Uh, I guess to to let the thumb heal. Yeah, I, I'm not, I mean, it's, it's hard to explain because it doesn't, it doesn't hurt, but it's, I mean, it's, it had surgery 12 days ago. So the, the, the functionality of it is, is as, is very close to what it was. It's, it, it's not, but it's very close and it's, um, it, it's, you know, like, like I said, it's, it's going to take, I mean, it will continue to get better over time. Um, every day it'll get better. And, and I could be sitting here next week saying, oh yeah, it feels like it did. I mean, I could be sitting here tomorrow saying it feels like it did three weeks ago. I don't know. I, I've never had this injury before, but um, the doctors are optimistic that it'll continue to get better and um, we'll continue to treat it. Red zone efficiency has been a problem with this team, you know, off and on throughout the season. You got two touchdowns down there today. Is there anything you saw by watching last week or in tape that helped you to do that? And how can you continue that red zone efficiency moving forward next week? I don't know if there's anything I saw. I think uh, the two times we scored, the first one um, was it's it's just it, when we're running the ball down there, it comes down to you know a mindset of of scoring and 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 understanding you know that we we only get down there so many times in a game and, and you have to take advantage of it and I think you know we we've had you know spots this year where we haven't finished and and you take it personally you know you you, you know about it you know you know that you're not finishing the red zone like you want to be and I think our offensive line took it personally and and, and you saw that on some of those runs down there and I think that the touchdown pass at the end there um just, I mean, Robert was wide open, so it, it, it worked out pretty good. Hey, Jared, uh, you've been able to watch uh, Cam Akers grow and develop over the course of the season. What did you see from him today that impressed you? Um, and what have you seen, how have you seen his growth progress to you um, up until this point here in the playoffs? Yeah, Cam's coming into his own. I think, you know, that Patriots game was really where he had his coming out party, but um, we've seen it progress all year. And it's been it's been exciting for me to see as a guy that's been here for a handful of years now and seeing a rookie you know, see, see his trajectory go and, and seeing the player that he can become. And I think it's only beginning for him. He's done a great job. He's he's smart. He's tough. He's, you know, he's athletic. He can do it all. He can catch. You saw the ball he caught and took down the sidelines. I mean, he can do anything you ask of him. And uh, he's, he's, a, he's a great guy to have. And, um, you know, I'm proud of him. You guys defeated one of the best playoff teams. How much confidence do you have going into the next game? A lot of confidence. Yeah, we feel great. Uh, it's Again, it's exciting. I, I think that's the, the thing that you take from this is we come up here and, um, you know, all week we were told how good they are and, and how we, you know, snuck into the playoffs and um, you come into their home place. And, and two weeks ago, you, you saw them smoking cigars and getting all excited about beating us and winning the division. And we're able to come up here and, and, and beat them in their own place. And it feels good. It feels really good. I think it's, uh, it's satisfying, but um, by no means are we any, any bit uh, finished or, uh, fully satisfied. I think, you know, we, we've got a lot of work to do and um, next week will be another challenge and we'll be ready. I actually don't think I've ever seen a pick six on a screen like that. Um, could you diagnose that for us, what you saw, um, whether you guys saw that on tape this week and, and what that play was like for you? I mean, I saw it a couple of times. I think we got it um, last week, you know, with Jalen being as dominant as he is, uh, you know, they got to try to move Metcalf around, get him away from Jalen and basically feature him. And I that's a play that I knew 
was going to happen. I knew they were just going to try to feature him, get him the ball somehow, let him break tackles. Uh, and I just read and jumped it. Eric? Hey, that's a that's a high-risk, high-reward play when, when you do that. So do you kind of have to pick your moments? I know that through film study, you have pretty good uh, – guess that that's coming but how do you evaluate that i mean i i when i film study i just i memorize you know plays real good um and i think that's what helped me um i knew he was gonna motion over all the way to one and them guys was tight and it was a, a big guy out there that you know it was gonna try to get him the ball and let him work when you guys go through a situation where you lose one quarterback to what kind of looked like a scary hit, and then you know your other quarterback is going to have to gut through and play under some pain and with some pain, what is the sort of um, sense of, of motivation or what's the conversation like to go out and kind of gut through a win like that? I think it was a, just an excellent job by everybody. I mean, coaches and players included. I mean, you look at it um, to, you know, good quarterbacks that we have and, and uh, you know, what kind of different styles and so I think that really with with us having a chance to have John in there and Wolford in there you know it's probably a little bit different plan than, than Jared playing and obviously with him coming back from his thumb you know unsure how that's going to affect him and so you know you're feeling good kind of felt like we started to get some stuff going and, and feeling pretty confident and then something happens like that and you got to imagine for a play caller it's like all of a sudden you're you're switching from really one style to another and you're not entirely sure you know what what we have there with with the ability of Jared you know Jared's thumb to be healed that fast so um yeah i think it was one of those things that we knew up front it was going to take a great rushing day be able to move the football on the ground and uh find explosives when we could